quite mobile. And they're pretty good at defending as well. So get them on this road here. So they will uh, now defend the uh, the landing zone a bit there. Got some zombies coming down this road. Which you've got to be careful for. And it's night time. Oh my god. Hopefully we'll get another full load here. I reckon I can just get the mercenaries down on this section. Just covering this long length of road, basically. I'm not sure if we'll get another load out. We might do. Mercenaries have got a lot of work to do. <coughs> Come on, helicopter. There's a massive group there. Come on. They turn back, humans. That's it. As you can see, the mercenaries are really good keeping, keeping the zombies away. Look behind you, look behind you. Oh my god. Oh, I think we've done pretty well there. We rescued 73. Only 48 infections. Um, yeah, this is an upgrade. Now what we can do with a helicopter. He's gained enough experience to for an upgrade. So we can uh, lower the arrival time. Which sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, we're still winning. Ah, we've got some barricades. Barricades you can place down to um, block the zombies off. Okay, so we're 39 points ahead. Alright, April 61, Retribution. Uh, midnight Sun, shorter daytime, but less zombies. Okay. Now, as you can see here, these black territories are the ones, are my territories that I've rescued, um, and the ones with the diamonds where Zeds are. So we'll uh, let's go for this one. I'm not sure what upgrades we'll get to use on this one. Okay, we can use the barricades. Uh, and it's raining. Okay. Now for the barricades, it's good to try to funnel the zombies along a certain way. Um, not always the easiest thing to do. <laughs> uh, can I put one there and put one there? And that means that these these two groups here are pretty much going to have to funnel, find themselves going all the way up there. No, we can't do that. So, so the place, some places you can't place to go out barricades in case you block the zombies off completely. Um, but those two there will mean that these two groups will have to sort of walk up and around there. Can I put one there? Nope. Oh, all well, barricades have been placed. Okay, that's fine. And then what we'll do is we will get the... Um, Replace those guys there, covering that section. And we've also got the cannon, which we'll place here. Now we have to remember that there isn't much daytime here. Um, let's go there. Okay, click on done, and away we go. Let's see if we work this out good at well enough. Now we've got 21, well, 20, 20 seconds of daylight, so that wasn't a very good shot <laughs> at all. Uh, night time's going to be coming pretty soon. Hopefully we'll get a couple of loads. What I'll start doing is moving, uh, moving my infantry just north a bit. Uh, it's night time. Okay, I think we'll probably get one more load, hopefully. As you can see, zombies coming in from everywhere. Let's, uh, whoops. Let's keep, keep the mercenaries running. Back them up a bit there. Uh, oh god, zombies coming down that way. Might, might just be able to uh, get some more. Might get another load. It's going to be close, but I think we'll get a few. Ooh. Ah, God, there's these hot. Damn. So we've rescued 56 so far, and I think it looks to me as though... Well, there's a few humans left there. I think we might save a, a few more. Not many, but maybe a few. Let's use the cannon again. Oh, 
I reckon we're going to save a few extras there. Not many. <laughs> Only four more. There's one guy running on his own quickly. Left for dead style. Oh, too late. Okay, so we saved 61 and there were 60 infections. Kind of just about managing to stay ahead. We've got some snipers. Another mercenary group. So we get we get 20 points of home base, but they get 10 points per territory that they've got. So anyway, um, that is Atomic Zombie Smasher, and I have to say I recommend it. it Cost a few quid. If you like tactical games and you like zombie games, you'll love this. Definitely, definitely give it a go. Uh, uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, get it from Steam. It only cost a few quid. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. Good fun. Um, that's it anyway for this video, and I'll see you again soon, probably on another Half-Life 2 video, which I've got loads to upload, or if not Half-Life 2, then it will be the start of the Skyrim playthrough. Thanks for watching. Bye.